I'm going to take a very quick flight of the Tura T to 12 Wi-Fi drone here. I am on Front Street here in Grand Turk. It's getting on in the evening. And I'm just going to fly up the coastline in Front Street. Just look at the camera and see how the drone performs it's very very windy here you would have already seen my you would have already seen my video my review of this um joan i will put a link to this review that i did with this drone it um, flies well but I get the impression that the telemetry um, is inaccurate it is um, recording its data here in um, meters but for the life of me I can't believe that A drone could be 1500 meters out which is um, well over 4,000 feet and I'm able to see it with my fading tired roomy eyes I don't buy it and that is what this Joan has shown me in the past that even out to 3,000 meters I am still able to see the Joan quite um, clearly. The telemetry has to be playing a prank on me. But it's a very um, NG level Wi-Fi beginner drone and so what to expect it's not a, a DJI drone by any means or even a Femi Potensic a Hobson it's just some cheap Wi-Fi drone that I picked up on Amazon it also boasts of a 4k camera and while the camera looks good the FPV feed looks good the quality looks good of the SD card I still have my doubts as to whether this is a 4k camera it seems to be an upscale something I don't know 1080p upscale to 4k 720 I don't know but I don't believe that it's a, a 4k camera but it's a, a decent beginner drone for anyone who's just getting into the hobby flies well it has a two axis gimbal it keeps the horizon fairly level it has three speeds I recommend that they fly it in the high speed it's a very noisy little drone so you should keep it away from from people they will notice it it makes a lot of noise and while it is um, small and neat and foldable and it's compact I can't rightly say it's a, a mini drone because it's over the, this 250 grams threshold so it will require registration and remote ID if you're flying in a country that requires drones over 250 grams to be registered and to have a remote ID 
So this June, whether you're flying for recreation, recreational purposes or not, I think it would attract remote ID and uh, for sure registration in the US and any other country with us with those um, sort of regulation luckily for me I do not have to register or fly with um, any sort of remote ID and I'm getting this beeping song the controller keeps um, beeping I know it beeps a lot when you're moving the the camera up and down the gimbal but I'm not doing any of that and I'm getting this beeping song and I'm not sure where it is coming from but it is handling fairly okay in my view no issues at all although I have the impression here that I may have lost um, connection or the FPV feed may have um, frozen up I'm not sure what to make of this so what I'm going to do it's off in the distance I'm going to walk towards the drone to see if I could um, regain some connection and then believe that I have done that by walking towards the the drone it's just out like 1500 meters that's what the telemetry is saying I don't think it's that far I can see it very clearly so I walked um, towards the drone and it seems that it reconnected and it's moving along quite nicely controller feels very good very sturdy It is powered by four AAA batteries, fake antennas, so there is no wires to aid in transmission, transmission distance or anything like that, or connection or anything like that. So, what I would say is that if you are flying this drone, maybe. 1500 feet just about 800 meters just about 500 meters just about 500 meters maybe the the right distance to get out anything beyond that you're probably going to lose connection and then you'll have to depend on the fail safe features to walk either the return to home because of loss of um, connection or low battery return to home and the return to home if you're not familiar with this drone it can give you a heart attack because when it return to home whether by the pilot initiating the return to home or loss of connection etc it comes back as it should and it comes back rapidly as it should and it actually turns around and come back facing the direction that it came from I have two other budget drones that don't do that they come back to the home point backwards but this one comes back facing the the home point but when it gets very close to where it takes off from it moves away rapidly 
from the the home point as if it is going off as if, if it is going to fly away and uh, maybe 20 feet from the home point and uh, when it gets about 20 25 feet from the home point then it comes back a second time and it comes back very rapidly and lands within three four five feet of the launch point or the the home point but it um, could be very nerve-wracking if you don't know exactly how it operates so I am actually bringing the drone back to the home point and I'm going to land it. It's a very useful um, beginner drone in my review. I did see that I'm not going to endorse it or recommend it. What I would say is that it is within that good um, a nice um, price range of under $200 and it does most things well, intelligent flight features, etc. whether it's with point or orbit or, or follow me, GPS follow, it follows the, the, um, the controller. So if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you very shortly in my next video the T-Rack T12S Wi-Fi beginner Joe cheers I can hear the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with the view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through